quick little video. Um, I have about almost, I have almost 30,000 miles on this bolt here. And I'm going to rotate the tires. But, so this is a 20, so this is a 2021 Chevy Bolt. You'll notice it has black bow tie here. And it's a black bow tie on the back. On the steering wheel, it has the gold one. Can't do much about that one. But then on the center caps, it has the gold ones. So all the ones on the outside, I mean, the, the two on the outside, front and rear, are black. And this one's gold. So what I did was, went out of line, and I bought some replacement caps that are black. And those are going to go right in there. So to get those off, you can probably pry this off and get it off. The easiest way is take the wheel off and just punch it out. It just comes, you just hit, tap that and this whole thing comes right off. So I've been safe. I bought these a while ago. I've been saving them for when I do this job. So I'm just going to uh, rotate the tires. I'm going to take the back ones from the front, front to the back. It's been a while. I mean, they still have some meat on them. The backs have a lot more. Oh yeah. Because you know, the front tires spin a lot when you're driving. So, I'm just gonna do that. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm gonna show the whole thing of me switching tires around. All I'm gonna do is just jack it up. I'm just gonna jack it up and switch the wheels around. I, I'll, when I get to the point where I'm changing the Center caps, I'll show you that. That's, I mean, it's not a big deal. You pop the other one, put the other one in. Anyway, let's uh, get to work and I'll show you what, what's happening. I went around before when the car was still on the ground and broke all of the lug nuts loose with this big, I don't know what size breaker bar extension. Um, and I'm using, no, it won't come off. I'm using one of these sockets got plastic on it has plastic on the inside I could put a link to this whole kit um, I could put a link to this whole kit it has all these sockets with the protective coatings on them so when you put them in here you don't scratch up the inside of the wheel and then when you're hammering it when you use like a hammer gun, an impact gun a lot of times it'll dimple if you just use a regular socket it'll dimple the um the heads of the of the lug nut so this has that plastic in there which prevents that from happening so you put that on there i'm going to zip all these off bang these out i'll show you that and then um switch them around actually i'll just set the camera up Get your screwdriver, butt end of it, just pop it out on the front. Just bang it on with your hand. Bang it on with your hand. Just get it on there. There. Got a sweat on it, it's fine. Now I'm going to use the same socket with this um, with this torque wrench. I'm going to set it to 80 pounds. Let's 
So 80 pounds, and then I tighten it, tighten it down, just snug. And I'll tighten it down, and you'll hear it click. All right, there you go. They're all um, torqued down. I'm gonna show you, you never wanna leave the wrench with, ten with tension on it. So I'm gonna zero, not zero it out, but just make it loose. Screw this part back in. All right, now we're set. And let's take a look. All right, just a little subtle, subtle difference. But I think it matches better having the black black one. I mean, it's not it's not that much a big deal. Yes, it's very hot out here. I don't know what temperature is, but it's hot. <laughs> so there you go, little black center caps. Switch the wheels around, and that's it. If you want to get if you want to get any of the tools that I used, there'll be a link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. And let me tell you, and let me know what you think about the black bow ties. You like the black bow ties? Or do you like the gold ones better on here? I personally I like the black. I think black goes good with the uh, the teal color. Oasis blue is what it's called. Anyway, there we go.